Ben Russian is waiting at a stoplight. When it finally turns green, Ben accelerates from rest at a rate of 6.00 meters per second squared for a time of 4.10 seconds. Determine the displacement of Ben's car during this time period. Now I've diagrammed with my little red Ferrari, the velocity initial is zero meters per second. And I know that because he is waiting. And I know that because he is waiting. When it turns green, he accelerates for 6.00 meters per second squared for 4.10 seconds. All right, considering we're working in the x-axis, I'm going to write that in red. My velocity initial in the x-axis is zero meters per second. And my acceleration in the x-axis is 6.00 meters per second squared. Time, though it doesn't have a direction to it, so I'm going to write that in black. 4.10 seconds. And the thing that I'm looking for is displacement in the x-axis. Question mark in meters. The equation that I'm going to use is distance equals velocity initial times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. I don't know what distance is, so I'm just going to write it again, but I do know what velocity initial is. That's zero times time, or one zero plus six point zero zero times four point one zero and that whole quantity divided by two squared. Now my distance equals this just blows up. So I don't have to write it again, but 6.00 times 4.10 squared over 2. Well, this is a pretty simple problem on your calculator. When you do the math, you get distance equals 100.86 over 2, or distance equals 50.4 three meters. Now since this has three sig figs and this has three sig figs, my answer will have three significant figures. So my distance in the X is going to be 50.4 meters.